Hey guys, Isabel here. Welcome back to Real Din. So I know it's been a while because my life has been a little busy going to grad school and everything, but I thought it'd be nice to review some of my Harry Potter merchandise that I have with you. This was a segment I started, um, I think a year ago now, but um, I've been kind of not great at keeping up with it. So I thought I finally had some free time. Um, and I would like to share some of my Harry Potter merchandise with you guys, again. <laughs> so today's merchandise that I am going to be reviewing for you guys is the Crystal Goblet from the Noble Collection. It's the goblet that Harry uses to feed Dumbledore that potion in the sixth Harry Potter movie, The Half-Blood Prince. And this is also one I have wanted for such a long time. Even when the movie first came out, I was like, that is so cool. That crystal, like shell goblet, like I just have to, I have to have it. And finally, back in December for Christmas, I know it's been a long time since I've gotten it and then showed you guys, but I finally got it for Christmas as a present. So thank you, my friend, for giving it to me. You know who you are. And here it is. So this here is an authentic replica from the one used in the movies. It's made from clear lucite to get the crystallized feeling, the to make it look like it's an actual crystal and not like resin or something. It's seven inches wide. And unfortunately, you cannot drink out of this. So if you try to make a purplish potion like in the movie and, and use this, I would not recommend. It's not, it's not made for that. But let's start with looking with the crystals over here. You can see each individual. I'm gonna assume it's crafted after a quartz kind of crystal. I feel bad because my undergrad, I was like, my focus was like geology a little bit. So I feel like, I feel kind of bad that I can't tell what this is supposed to be. But I'm definitely gonna go with crystal. That's my final answer. <laughs> and it definitely looks like it would be a real crystal. There aren't any bubbles or cracks. Each crystal has a different cut to it, so more, some are more rectangular, others are more square, some of them are more pointy. Like this one, I feel like if you definitely hit someone with this, it would totally hurt. So don't do that. And then it goes from having the larger crystals at the top, and then it kind of tapers out when you get closer to the actual cup, the shell cup part of it. Almost kind of like it was carved, and they left a little bit of crystals here as they were carving. The actual cup part here is smooth, but you can still feel the divots of the different rings around the cup. I'm not sure what the cut, what the sh the actual cup part would be made from, from like the movie. I feel like it might be kind of like an opal, not an opal, but you know how like some, if you find like an oyster shell at the beach, it has that like shiny material at the bottom. I feel like that's kind of what it would be. I feel like it would be really hard to actually craft this out of a single crystal without like breaking or cracking it. So, but of course it's Harry Potter and it's magic, so you can do anything you want with it, really. Now, it doesn't actually feel like it's made out of crystal, since it's made out of lucite, you know, it's, it's not like actually made out of crystals, but I think the look of it is pretty spot on. And then look at the bottom here. It has this black mass, which is supposed to represent like the stone that the crystal was carved from. My only gripe with this section of it is that I wish um, maybe they put like a different like a different mold or like a different kind of section where they actually attached it because it kind of just looks like it's painted onto the bottom and so you can kind of see through it. Like you can see like the, the lucite below it. it. It doesn't really look like it's like a solid um, crust that they took the crystal from. So that's like my only complaint about it. And then here we have some trademark information as well as with the warning, do not drink from it. Now, if you've watched my past Harry Potter merchandise reviews, you know, even though I know that they're necessary, I'm not a very big fan of being able to obviously see the trademark information, and that's not a gripe on the product. I know you have to put it on there. That's just a personal thing for me. So maybe if they put the warning like along the black crust here, like I think we'd be better because it would blend in a little bit more, but you could still see it. That's just my own personal thing. But I do, I love the textures on this because this, these crystals, like they are very rugged. Like how, you know, almost like how like you would actually think different crystals feel, except, you know, not an actual crystal, if that makes any sense. But I just love the design, even from the movies and from this, it's like, like I said, like you take an actual crystal from the cave 
and you just hack it away, but you leave the you leave the regular crystals behind. You just used a portion of it, and you can really see like the transition because like this is like the natural part, and as it goes in, it's like you're you're carving it down, you're hacking away, and then finally you get this smooth cup here, which makes sense because actually, when you look at the I'm trying to get the light on this, <laughs> when you look at the carved crystals here. It really looks like someone took like a chisel and tried their best to like scrape away at it because they're they're like it almost looks like they're kind of crumpled in, in a way like, you can definitely tell that they've been like they've like look like they've been damaged it's not the natural crystals we see here and then just like one little thing is just that like there is a color difference between these crystals and the cup here and you can just kind of see i don't know if you can see it in the video here but there's just some like yellow spots back here so i just kind of wish that wasn't there it just kind of makes it look like it was poorly crafted and you kind of see a little bit of those yellow specks in um the chipped away crystals up here but other than that i think it's a great piece i'm super excited to add it to my collection and i will definitely be on, on occasion putting the slytherin's locket in here and just kind of lifting it up i feel like it'd be like really cool just to show to your friends your harry potter friends and if you do put the locket in here it even fits inside. You got the locket from the cave! Well guys, that has been my review of the Crystal Goblet from the Noble Collection. I will leave a link below where you can purchase this if you do want to purchase it so you can have it and add it to your Harry Potter collection. But be sure to leave a like on the video comment is this something you'd like to add to your collection i love crystals and gemstones and rocks and stuff like that so personally i'm very happy to add this to my own harry potter collection and be sure to subscribe to the channel click the notification bell so you know when i upload future harry potter merchandise review videos as well as the wizarding world of harry potter vlog videos but guys that's all i've got for you today so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time